Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC that consists of uh, this uh, blue right triangle uh, CDE and this uh, green uh, shaded uh, quadrilateral uh, ABED. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue triangle has been given to us as uh, 48 centimeter square. And this uh, tiny segment uh, CD length uh, is uh, 8 centimeter. And moreover, uh, this uh, segment uh, AD length uh, is 18 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue right triangle CDE. And now we know the area of this triangle has been given to us as 48. And this uh, side length uh, is uh, 8. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this blue triangle is uh, 8 whereas the height uh, is uh, DE and the area is 48. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, 48 uh, equals to a half uh, times uh, 8 uh, times our height is uh, DE segment length. Let's simplify. That is going to give us 4 times uh, DE equals to 48. And now we are going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate DE segment length. So this 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore our uh, DE side length is going to be equal to 12 centimeter. So therefore, our uh, this uh, DE segment length turns out to be 12 centimeter. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, whole uh, AC length is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths, uh, 8 plus 18. That is going to give us uh, 26 centimeter. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the, the sum of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume this angle is uh, alpha. Then in this uh, triangle ABC, this angle has got to be beta, since this is our 90 degrees angle. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny blue triangle CDE. We know this angle is beta, this is our 90 degrees angle, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha. So therefore we conclude that uh, these two right triangles, the right triangle ABC and this uh, blue right triangle CDE are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are similar, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of the side lengths AB and BC must be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, DE and CD. And now we know that our uh, DE segment uh, length uh, is uh, 12. So I'm going to replace that one with 12 over here. And likewise, uh, this uh, CD segment length uh, is 8 centimeters. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 8 over here. And now we can see 12 divided by 8 could be reduced to 3 divided by 2. So therefore, we are going to conclude uh, that this uh, AB segment uh, length uh, has got to be equal to 3 times some constant uh, K. And likewise, uh, this side uh, BC length uh, must be equal to 2 times some constant K as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this constant uh, K. So thus our, uh, this side uh, AB length turns out to be 3 times some constant K. And likewise, uh, this uh, BC length uh, 
turns out to be 2 times some constant k as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, A, B, C. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, the hypotenuse uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, AC, whereas our two other legs are uh, 2K and uh, 3K. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got 2 times uh, K square plus likewise uh, 3 times uh, K square equal to AC square. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore our side length uh, AC equals to K times uh, square root of uh, 13. So therefore our this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC length turns out to be K times the square root of uh, 13. And furthermore, we know that uh, this uh, AC length is uh, 26 as well. So therefore, I'm going to equate uh, K times uh, square root of 13 equals to 26. So therefore, I can write uh, K times uh, square root of uh, 13 equals to 26. And now I'm going to divide both sides by square root of 13 to isolate uh, constant K. So this is gone. So therefore our constant K value turns out to be 26 divided by square root of 13. And now I am going to rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of 13 at the very same time. And here we can see at the denominator square root of 13 times square root of 13 is going to be simply 13. Or if we simplify that is going to give us k equals to 2 times the square root of 13. So therefore our constant k value turns out to be 2 times square root of 13. So therefore this AB side length is going to be equal to 3 times k value is 2 times square root of 13. So that is going to give us 6 times the square root of 13. And likewise this AB side length which is 2k is going to become simply 4 times the square root of 13. And now our task is to calculate the area of this big right triangle ABC. And now let's recall once again the area of triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle is 4 times square root of 13, whereas the height is uh, 6 times uh, square root of 13. So therefore, uh, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, 4 times uh, square root of 13 times uh, 6 times uh, the square root of 13. And now we can see square root of 13 times square root of 13 is going to give us uh, 13. And likewise, uh, 1 divided by 2 times 4 times uh, 6 uh, is going to give us uh, 12. And that is going to be equal to 156 uh, centimeter square. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded quadrilateral uh, ABED. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, green shaded region uh, must be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABC minus uh, the area of the blue triangle uh, CDE. And here we already figured out our triangle ABC area. And the area of this uh, blue triangle CDE is 48. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our triangle ABC area is 156 minus 48. And that is going to give us 108 centimeter square, the area of the green shaded region. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of the green shaded region turns out to be 108 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.